Good morning viewers, today I'm at SM City in Bacalod City and the restaurant scene here has changed quite a lot over the last few weeks we've got two new Italian restaurants, pizza place is on its way an old Bacalod favourite has closed down and today there's a new chicken place opening so I need to get into the car park, find somewhere to park my bike get into the mall and see what's happening And we're in. And this is fairly new. A pet cafe with pet services. You can take your pet out for dinner. Might bring my dog. And coming soon, Johnny's Pizza. Johnny's have a branch near La Salle. Must be doing good business because it's opening a branch here in the mall. And Dunkin' Donuts have a new branch. I don't think I've seen that before either. So many new things here at SM. Here's the Sang Yup Sal. Korean barbecue. The Lechon house is still here. And as is Kabalen. The Kabalen buffet. Eat all you can. There's Kabalen. Still fairly early, so the restaurants are just getting busy now. And today, there's a new chicken place opening. I'm not quite sure where, but we'll find it. It's Chuck's to go. Apparently this is their first restaurant. And this place is also fairly new. Specialises in ice creams. I think they're ice creams anyway. Could be frozen yogurt. Yellow cab here. Yellow cab pizza. It's gonna have some competition soon with Johnny's. Here's Max's chicken. Always popular is Max's chicken for their family meals. And I can hear and see the chucks to go. Here's Shakey's. And next to Shakey's is this new Japanese restaurant. Hey you, something like that. Here's the menu. If you want Japanese food in the mall. This place has got you covered. And here's Burger King. Home of the Whopper. Chucks to go is just down here, you can hear the noise. It's opening up today. First time Chucks to go have got a restaurant apparently. They're right next to Yaki Mix. 
Yaki Mix Buffet. Such to go have plenty of takeout places all over the city. If you do good lech on Manok. But now they have a restaurant, you can dine in. And at the end, here's Kenny Rogers. And this used to be Fresh Start, which has turned into a Mitsubishi showroom. So, brand new Chucks to go. A Chucks to go restaurant. Meals for like 160. Should do well. Okay, let's go and see what else is open. I know there's a couple of restaurants here, Italian restaurants, which have opened recently. Let's go and find them. And I can see an old Bacolod favourite. It's closed for good. Let's see Noodle and Dim Sum House. Seems to have closed for good. But Seas is still open. For its pastries. But no more Dim Sum and Noodle House. Koya J. And Hookad, still alive and kicking, as is Gilligan's. And some of the worst burgers you'll ever have. Try Zark's, or even better, don't bother. Terrible burgers in there. So this is where Italianis is. Yes, we have an Italianis now in Bacolod City. There's actually two Italian restaurants open recently. I'll show you the other one next. Right next to another Japanese place, Ikorio. And next to Vikings is Italianis. This is the first one in the city, but it won't be the last apparently. That's Italiani's guys, newly opened. I think it was only open last week when all the bloggers came here for their freebies. And almost next to it, is the other Italian restaurant, Sibo. This is also very recently opened and it hasn't actually got um, an indoor area. It's opened in the middle of the mall. So if you're looking for overpriced Italian food, get down to SM. Okay, that's Sibo. No customers yet, but it's still early. Right. Let's see what else is downstairs. Before I take you for a quick look around what food's available upstairs. And on this little walkway is Pepper Lunch. And next to it, Jerry's Grill. Both popular places. This is Pepper Lunch. Famous for its pepper beef.
And next to that is Jerry's Grill. Very famous for its seafoods. We have many branches of Jerry's all over the country, even on the beachfront in Boracay. Okay, that's the restaurant on the ground floor of SM. Quite a few new additions, two new Italian restaurants. Johnny's Pizza is on its way soon. There's even a pet cafe. And of course, Chicken Deli. And as well as restaurants, there's plenty of food available in these carts. There's plenty of them scattered all around SM. And here's a few of them. Not just restaurants, there's plenty of snacks available as well. As you can see. And there's always Vikings. Not as popular as it used to be. It's a great option on your birthday. Come on your birthday with someone else and it's free. Right, time to go upstairs, check out the food court. And there's a new place here selling Japanese maki rolls, California maki, that sort of stuff. Quite a few choices, looks very good. That's just by the Vietnamese banh mi place, the banh mi kitchen. So that was SM City, quite a lot of new food options, two new Italian restaurants almost next to each other quite a lot of new things to come and try if you're heading to SM City so thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so I'll see you on the next video